Council say they're facing a growing problem with abandoned houses and buildings. It means in some areas, dilapidated graffitied houses are sitting empty for decades and there's very little that can be done about it. Young Yana Katurallan has more. This four-bedroom home, smack bang in the centre of a bustling Auckland suburb, has sat empty for more than a decade. For as long as 14-year-old Anna Layla can remember, this has been her view. They ask me, where did you live? And I'll just be like, near the creepy house, and they'll know immediately. There's been 16 complaints to the council about this Tiara 2 South home, with people concerned about rats and fire risk. But it's not legal for the council to act. We don't have powers to just march on in and do something. Uh, it has to be quite a serious issue for us to actually respond to. It's only if the building could cause injury or death, councils can move in. Action might be possible if there's visible proof of a massive rat infestation or major fire risk because of hoarded rubbish. But the bar is extremely high and councils are completely powerless if a building simply looks terrible. We tried to contact the owner of this home to ask why it sat like this for 12 years but had no response. We believe he lives overseas. And a search on the property's address revealed he also owns another home just down the road which is also uninhabited and in a similar state. Further south in Whanganui, Mayor Hamish McDool says absentee owners are responsible for the 10% of his city CBD buildings that are derelict. Some people are simply using these buildings as uh, a financial finesse, uh, some kind of tax exemption or tax rort, uh, and they don't populate it, they don't look after the building, uh, and it deteriorates. It's, it's uh, really demolition by uh, neglect. So the council there is constantly fixing awnings and facades at its own cost. Local Christine Tancred wanted to buy an abandoned building to convert to accommodation, but she had to give up when the council couldn't find the owner. They don't know where they are, they go to rack and ruin, um, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Local government New Zealand, which represents councils, says they desperately need more powers to act. The problem is growing, there's no doubt about that. And at the moment, it, it, you know, we have our hands tied behind our backs. It wants a law to define derelict buildings like Ireland has. Then owners could be forced to fix or sell after a grace period. Could be a threshold of three years, five years. Uh, then action could be taken. It's taking the demand to government this month. In the meantime, 14-year-old Anna Layla hopes the house next door will be bold and replaced before she leaves school and that she'll get some neighbours instead of this. Janneke Turrellen, News Hub.